Well, we should say that uh, our reporting is that the Justice Department acted. We don't know exactly what. We don't know exactly what he is uh, specifically in trouble for here. Uh, you are his colleague in the House of Representatives. Is, at this point, is it just about letting the Justice Department do its thing? Sure, but he should have been asked to resign a long time ago from his own party. You know, he's the most famous member of Congress. That should be a shameful fact for all of us You're in Congress. You're pretty famous. No, not like George Santos. <laughs> he's become a punchline. I mean, in a body that had Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, George Herbert Walker Bush, we now have George Santos and we can't say he doesn't belong. What are we doing to the, the body? I mean, it is, forget Republican or Democrat. Why do you have someone like that sullying the name of the institution you serve in? That's the, the part of this, I think, will be the most consequential in appeal. Uh, I want to bring you in, Patrice Sultan. You are also an attorney here. W what did you make of what you heard? And more importantly, the impact of what we saw today in New York. Well, I think Laura framed the legal issues very well. Those are the rules of evidence that I think will be most relevant to the Court of Appeals determination. The impact of what I saw today is in part informed by what else we've seen in the same news cycle. I can't remember a time that we witnessed the erosion of public trust in all three branches of American government at one time. And that is significant and consequential to see rules violations by someone who has served in the White House, someone who has served in the U.S. Congress, and someone who is serving on the U.S. Supreme Court all at the same time. And while you know criminal prosecution and litigation doesn't always have a deterrent effect, I think there's an exception when we're talking about such a public and such a, an abuse of power by all three branches in the same week. Congressman Rokana, what's, what's your uh, reaction to what we saw today? I was just saddened by the exchange you had, because what message is that sending to girls across this country? I mean, you and I, everyone here knows it takes extraordinary courage to come forward if someone has been sexually assaulted. Most people who have been sexually assaulted never go through it, precisely because they don't want the spectacle. And then to have someone attack the jury system, the hallmark of our democracy, because it didn't come out their way, it sends a chilling effect to girls watching. And I, I hope people recognize the courage of Jean Carroll in coming forward with her story and recognize that in this country, we believe in the process. If you disagree, appeal, but don't attack the democratic process.